is the WrestleMania hangover episode of Chair Shot and Reality. Back off the plane from Orlando. What a week it's been. I'm Justin LaVar. Rennell Hunt, the yeah. Rev. And in the script and in the rundown, Juice was scheduled, but he is coming back today, so we are uh, anxiously awaiting him any moment now. Uh, Rev, WrestleMania, what, you, you had a different perspective than I did. You, what, overall, real quick before we even get to our topic. You know what? My, my thing is this, guys. I love the WrestleMania. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What do you do, like, miss, miss, your, miss your flight or something? Yeah, I just got back. You brought peanuts. I got your peanuts. I appreciate it, I man. got my WrestleMania button. I fanny pack, Fanny too. pack. You, you slept with that thing on. Yeah. You, you came in the style. Came in, came in the style. All right. What's up, guys? Well, Juice is here. Uh, yeah, the show's back on. I'm, you're I'm here. good. It's all, we're all good now. You look ridiculous. We're ready wrestling. to roll. All right, let's talk. Uh, it's his yard now. Oh, God. Yes, it's the yard I'm, uh, to be of honest Roman with you, Reigns. I, just like whenever you know, I figured out that Cena had his big moment of I don't care what I am, I don't win every match. I'm just myself. Now with Roman, that promo that he cut, that five word promo, I'm a Roman Reigns. Fan. And that's what he is. That's he's all a, I need. He's still the number one heel, the number one babyface to everybody, depending on what your perspective is. I don't think WWE is going to book him as a dastardly heel. He's not going to be cheating or low blowing, but I think they're going to tone down on the. You know, all smiles, superhero baby yeah. face, which is honestly what pushed a lot of people away. So I, I think, think that I think the main thing that I said, like even right before Mania, as I said, it's that magic red button. If you want Roman to get that heat, you have to let him beat Taker. They let him beat Taker. I said he was. Say, I said he was going to beat him. You, you said, you know oh, is he? Is he now? Huh? The, the the fans let him hear it. Let's be oh. honest. What we heard raw right after Mania, the fans let him hear it. He absorbed it all. Just a few words, that's all it takes. Is this, because, I mean, now I kind of wrote about an upgroove and, and kind of phrased it as this was the last ride, because it certainly looked like this was the end for The Undertaker, but they have not ever said The Undertaker's done, and I think it's probably smart, because if he is done, then they've given it a certain ceremonial goodbye, the way he, he laid his, uh, his hat and everything down, but always, if he has a surgery and he does feel better, they've left the door open. They always leave a little bit of a door open. That's why Even Goldberg left I was going to say, open. when Goldberg was like that, he's like, well, for now. And they're not going to do it with Taker because it's a little bit more of an yeah. important thing. Yeah. But I think as long as they leave some glimmer of, oh, he may, you know, we don't know, then he can come back and be more monumental. My, my, hope, my hope is with this. They keep milking this. People still get, continue to get pissed off with Roman. And the thing is, I'm looking for it to eventually still build to Undertaker versus Cena. That's what I want it to be. I want it to eventually get there. I think a lot of fans are, in, you know, for one reason, in my opinion, you know, that's that like that match in happens. New Orleans to me, that's the true way to go out for Undertaker if, if that can still if happen. If it's but. not, and this was it, thoughts on his career, guys? I mean, we can do a whole yeah. video series. It's weird. Like, I mean, you know, like three doors down. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, it's weird. I mean, you know, I'll, I'm I'm 30 this year, so I've had Undertaker, and, and I, I have, my entire life had the Undertaker yep. in it, so. Uh, it was definitely emotional. I did not actually cry, but I, I was close. It, I, it, it's, it was a very, I mean, I was, if, I if was, you didn't pick up the emotion to that, then you either, uh, you either aren't real invested in wrestling yet. At least live. Or, at yeah, least, yeah, at least yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. Live. Watching live. it, you know, with a yeah. cup of commentary and stuff, but if you're by yourself, like in the crowd, and it's all just the, the music and everything, but everything else is quiet. It was, yeah. it was something else. I'll tell you what I did this, and I, again, I wrote this uh, in my thing Monday on Upgroup, when, when, Roman, when Roman hit the ropes twice for that spear, as soon as he hit it, I shut my eyes. And I just listened because I knew I was like, "This is it." Yep. And, I, and I had this feeling was I was like, "This is it." That it was, was weird. Was All right, we'll see with Josh Eisenberg. He was also in attendance at Camping World Stadium with the rest of the seventy-five thousand of us. Josh, what were your thoughts? Roman Reigns, it's his yard now. I want to first start off by saying thank you to everybody that came out to Wing Shack with Billy Gunn and our Bay Bay boy Adam Cole, making a nice surprise fan-friendly experience. But let's talk a little bit more about CSR After Mania highlighting Roman Reigns' victory against The Undertaker at WrestleMania 33. Obviously, it was the right decision. Obviously, looking towards the future, this needed to happen. And as much as it pissed people off, business does not need to always please the WWE Universe. My biggest question now, as Roman Reigns moves towards a really quick but fantastic promo because he said five words, he sat there for 15 minutes, had people boo him, what is next for the new big dog? Well, as Paul Heyman said, the two in 23 and two need to go one on one and that needs to happen sooner rather than later. Whenever I look at this feud between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns going to be brewing, going to be stirring up, heading into 2017, many people will chant, where is Finn? We want Finn, we want Seth, we want Joe. Joe's gonna kill all of these internet darlings and trust me, I love them too. They're entertaining, they're enjoyable and they're the anti-Roman Reigns, I get it, but, 
WWE is in a perfect spot right now because they can let Roman Reigns chase that Universal Championship against Brock Lesnar, develop Brock Lesnar as the number one face and the dominant champion until Roman Reigns slays the beast finally. And then you could also add, it's a three hour pay-per-view, Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe. There's so many opportunities to please the fans, to please business, and to make money off of the product and the depth that WWE Raw now has from the very top all, all the way down to the very bottom. So I'm excited to see what they do with Roman Reigns here. Uh, you, you, the guy's a merchandise seller. A guy gets the best reaction aside from Nakamura, who we'll talk about later this weekend. You got to realize that this is the best business model that WWE has come up with. And you're going to see other guys succeed. And Roman Reigns will be a full-fledged heel by the end of 2017. That's my bold prediction. CSR After Mania at Josh Eisenberg Ford. Tweet me all weekend long. Coming up later in the show, I'm going to talk about ha, Nakamura Shinsuke Strong Style debuting on SmackDown.